Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Monday. Welcome to a brand new week. It is February the 17th, 2020. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. This is episode 3224. Today's episode is titled, Speak to Me. Stay tuned. Have you ever heard God speak to you? Does God speak to us? Is it an audible voice? What's that all about? Well, I will tell you, yes, I have heard God speak. Have I heard an audible voice? No, not really. I don't think so. Sometimes it seems so profound. It seems audible. But God has something to say to us. And I want to talk to you about that from some thoughts that Pastor Craig Rochelle shared yesterday in a great message titled, Speak to Me. It's a, in a series of messages called, dangerous prayers and one of the dangerous prayers that you can pray is lord speak to me now would you describe yourself as more of a talker or more of a listener you see sometimes we talk too much and maybe that can affect our listening you know somebody said god gave us two ears and one mouth which means we need to listen twice as much as we speak. He quoted a passage from 1 Samuel chapter 3 and verse 10. It's an, an interesting story about young Samuel before he became a prophet of him hearing this voice from God and he was in experience with that and so he went and he he asked the priest about it and the priest told him said look After the third time, he said, listen, just say, when the Lord speaks, just listen. And so 1 Samuel 3.10 says, and the Lord came and called as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel replied, speak, your servant is listening. Speak to me, Lord. I'm listening. How do you hear God's voice? There are three things that need to be a reality in your life if you're going to be able to hear God's voice when he speaks to you and he will surely speak to you. Number one, you got to be still. Now that's probably one of the biggest challenges we face in the world in which we live today. You've heard me talk about a book I'm reading, The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry and the Noise of Social Media, the News, controversy, all that going on. If you're going to listen to God and hear him speak above all the din of all the noise in our world, you have to be still. You have to have a time when you can just be still and know that he is God. That's what David said in Psalm chapter 46 and verse 10. But not only do you need to be still, you need to be willing. Why would God have anything to say to you if there wasn't a willingness on your part to listen? Seek his will in all you do and he will show you which path to take. That's what Solomon said in Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 6. So you need to be still. You need to be willing. You need to be open. Lord, speak to me. I'm here. I want to hear. And then number three, you need to be ready. Mm -hmm. Because what he's going to say to you will require action on your part. Now, there are a lot of ways that God speaks to us. The primary way that God speaks to his people is through his word. How much time 
are you going to spend in God's word today? God has something to say to you. That's why he gave us his word. That's why he preserved it. God doesn't need to sky ride on the clouds for us to hear what he has to say. He preserved his word for us. God speaks through his people. He speaks in relationships that we have with other people. God speaks through worship. Boy, does God ever speak to me through worship. There's an incredible song in the message yesterday. So powerful. I would just encourage you uh, to listen to that message. And I've, I've given you the link in the description. At the end of that service is such a powerful, powerful song. God speaks to us through worship. God speaks to us through circumstances, stuff that happens in life. God will give us direction that way. And God speaks to us through his spirit, that still, small voice. Question, are you willing to pray this dangerous prayer? Lord, speak to me. Will you be still, willing, and ready for what he has to say? Father, today I pray again. I've already prayed it this morning. I pray again today. Speak to me. And Lord, speak to me so that I'll be ready and prepared to speak to others about you. Thank you for your love and grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmana.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. I get an email every week from Spreaker on Sunday talking about how many people downloaded and played. It's such a blessing to me. I love you. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.